Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be installing a new handheld shower head. Now this would be how to install or replace your shower head. Uh, if you have a regular shower head, you can install a handheld shower head, which my wife will not allow any other type of shower head for some reason. I guess she likes to spray the walls or something in the shower. I guess she's the one who cares more about the cleanliness of the shower, so it makes sense. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and install this thing. I'll show you step by step the process for doing so. Now this particular one is a Moen. I'm really pleased with Moen's products overall, especially their customer service. So I'll link to uh, Moen handheld shower head in the description as well as this fantastic knife that you will need to open it. So get this open here. We got the handheld shower head itself, the hose, and the mounting bracket that goes onto the shower arm coming out of the wall. So pretty simple as far as what we got here. And we got one little gasket with a screen in it, it looks like. These things have a lifetime warranty on them. And this one has uh, five different modes that it can spray in and switches between them with this lever here. So one, two, three, four, five. Sure enough, they weren't joking. And there's that limited lifetime warranty sticker, and uh, that's just to the original homeowner or purchaser of the product. Now this little gasket goes in here. This is the part where it threads onto the shower arm coming out of the wall. And we do not need any thread tape or sealant. Now depending on the manufacturer of the shower head that you're using, uh, you may need thread tape, but these are generally not designed to seal with thread tape. If it has a gasket like like we can see here, then it, it is designed to seal with the gasket, just that pressure up against it. So we're going to install this first. Now if you had an old shower head on here, you would first spin that off of here and hopefully you could do it by hand. Uh, these really only need to be hand tight. You do not need any wrenches. Uh, this particular piece that I'm holding here is actually made of some kind of composite or plastic. So I'm going to just get it good and snug to where it doesn't feel like it's going to come loose. And then this here rotates separately. This is that adjustability there with kind of a pivot ball. So we're going to snug that up here so this has got some stiffness to it. Now we're ready to grab the handheld shower head. There are two more gaskets here that were tied to that. Now one's going to go on either side of this hose, right inside there like that. And then we can attach the uh, shower head to it. Hand tight, again, hand tight. This is, this is as easy as it gets. All right, there's the other gasket there. All right, so we'll go up and and hang this in its spot there. Beautiful. Naomi's gonna be so happy. And now we'll attach the other side of this. We got that gasket in there. And again, we're just gonna do that hand tight. Perfect. And I'll probably use two hands here and get this a little bit snugger, but it's it's pretty close. Is snugger a word? I don't know. I don't know. But that looks pretty good. So handheld shower head is installed. So you can see how this is maybe a little bit loose yet. It moves pretty easily. So if I tighten this nut right here where my thumb is at, which I'm doing, that makes that a little bit stiffer so that it just stays a little bit more stable there. Uh, I suppose we should probably test it, so let's turn on the water. Pull up the diverter. Whoa! <laughs> there comes the water. I like the center mode right here, the traditional spraying mode. But we've got a few different ones. There's the pulsating water mode. There's the high power, kids are super dirty mode. Let's see, what's the other way? The uh, um, other mode that has thicker streams of water, and the other mode. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough talking about that. All right, we'll put that up. I don't think we even have any leaks up here, so 
This was well designed. I, I put a cheap one of these together not too long ago, and that one was awful. It came like with this whole roll of Teflon tape. It had a gasket in it, but apparently the design was so bad that they knew the gasket wouldn't work. So the books had to use all of the thread tape that they included. So I did, and it did work, but it was at first it leaked and it was terrible and awful. So buy a decent one if you're gonna do this, but you. Cheap one will work fine. You just might have to monkey with it a little bit more. So, uh, but yeah, that's how you install a handheld shower head. If you're interested in one, link in the description. And uh, if this video helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. I'd appreciate it very much. Hit that bell icon if you want to be actually notified about when I uh, upload stuff. Not that you would necessarily want to, but if you do, it's there. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.